I started writing the script for this video at 6.21 a.m. on a Friday morning. I had been awake a few minutes before 4 a.m. and by the time my family would get to see me at 9 a.m., I should have finished 80% of what I have to do today. Lemony Snicket said, Morning is an important time of the day because how you spend your morning can often tell you what kind of day you are going to have. I think it's more serious than that. How you spend your morning doesn't only tell the kind of day you have but also the kind of life you will have. In today's video, I would like to share with you a few things I think will help you to get the best out of your life by taking care of your morning. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Fingers are not equal. Hours in the day are not either. I think the very first thing we should understand is that as our fingers are not equal, the hours in the day are not equal also. From my experience, investing 3 hours before 9 a.m. into my work is as valuable as or even more valuable than 5 hours after 12 p.m. The reason for this, I think, are three. First, when you wake up in the morning, your body and mind are at their best after six hour or so rest. The second thing, I think, is your emotion. You have not come across other humans nor have you received or listened to any bad news. Your emotion is likely to be positive at the early hours of the day than in the afternoon because the more people you come across in the day and the more TV or social media you're exposed to, the more unconscious troubles your mind goes through. That's why sometimes you catch yourself sad and you can't even point at a single thing that's responsible for it. It might just be the news or social media post or even a colleague you don't like and this has a direct impact on your productivity. The third reason why your early morning can be far more productive than the rest of the day is because of the absence of distractions. Phone calls, emails, WhatsApp messages, Facebook notifications and lots of other little things. It has been scientifically proven that when we concentrate wholeheartedly on a single task without distractions, we can do our best works quickly. Early hours of the day is the only time you can have 100% concentration. Your family members are all asleep, your phone is not ringing and social media isn't appealing to you. Now that we have seen how the early hours of the day are important, I'll try and use the remaining part of this video to answer some of the questions you might have. Do you advise that I sleep less? No, I don't advise you to sleep less. In fact, sleeping less will make you feel terrible in the morning and that will be counterproductive. Plus, in the long run, your health will suffer from lack of sleep. So, how do you wake up early if you don't sleep less? What I do is to go to bed 2-3 to three hours earlier than I used to. You see, in the past, I would get to bed by 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. and wake up by 7.30. I was only killing my productivity. I started going to bed by 8 p.m. or 8.30, spend 30 minutes to an hour on my bed to check a few things on my phone including watching some comedy skits, then sleep. If I can catch sleep before 9.30 p.m., I could wake up by 4 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. in good spirit. So, don't sleep less, sleep early. What if I have a job and have to commute two hours to work? Another question you might want to ask is this. What if I have a 9-5 to job and have to spend two hours to commute to work? How can I possibly wake up early or do my work at the early hours of the day. I have never had to commute an hour to a job but I know that could be terrible. So here is what I think you can do. Invest the first hour of the day on yourself, no matter what. This is what I mean. Go to bed an hour earlier than you used to and wake up an hour earlier than you're waking up now. Then invest your mind for an hour every morning. Earl Nightingale said if you study in your field for an hour every day, you'll become a national expert in five years. So many people complain that they are not paid enough. So many people complain that they hate their jobs. So many people cry because their job is killing their relationships with their children and family. The solution to all these tears is self-development. Self-development increases your value and what you're capable of doing. When you increase your value and what you're capable of doing, 
you'll naturally increase your standard and income. Part of my daily routine is to study an hour or two every day. I sometimes miss this and hate myself for it, so I don't miss it often. I just have to have a better mind when I'm going to bed than what I had in the morning. It's the way you become a better, richer and happier individual. So if I have a job that forces me out of my home every morning and makes me waste precious hours on traffic, I'll try and invest my first hour on my mind. One day, very soon, I won't need that job anymore. If investing the first hour in yourself doesn't seem like what you can do at home, shut your phone for the few hours in the morning. I get it, our phones and entertainment gadgets have become a part of our lives and in fact, so many people think they cannot do without them. But that's not true. When people get to know that I don't have a television, they think that's strange, but it's not. The intention of television came less than 100 years ago and its popularity is less than 70 years old. Abraham Lincoln never owned a TV. Benjamin Franklin never owned a TV. Thomas Edison never owned a TV. 99.99% of modern humans, there was no phone or TV and our forefathers lived a great life. This is not to say that you don't need social media or you should throw away your television. It only means that you can switch them off for a few hours. You own them and you have power over them. Let all your phone's notifications be silent. Discipline yourself to only check social media in the afternoon. Read or listen to audiobooks as you commute to work. By any means possible, invest the first few hours of your day in yourself or your work. The big difference between those who are successful in life and others is about how they spend their time and even more important is how they spend their morning. Most people I know either don't worship their morning or waste it all together. The 34th US President, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, said, A man who doesn't finish half of his day's work by 10 a.m. has lost the day. Jeff Bezos said, I don't make any important decision after 10 in the morning. Winners wake up before the sun does and that's why they win. Do the work you are crazy about. My primary objective in this video is to share with you how important the morning is. But there's one thing I must emphasize before I round up this video and that is, people who are passionate about the work they're doing don't have a problem waking up early. Think about this, how much sleep do you need a night before you travel to a new country you've been dreaming of for years? How much sleep do you need a night before you appear on TV for the first time? How much sleep do you need tonight if tomorrow you'll meet the president of your country? In any of the above three cases, most of us will wake up before 4 in the morning. The opposite will be the case if we hate what is about to happen in the morning. People who hate their jobs hate to see the sun because it brings bad news. So you might want to sacrifice everything in your power to make sure you're doing the job you truly like so that you can wake up early and worship your morning. Because there lies the blessings of your life. People who succeed in life cherish the morning. Those who fail waste it. I hope this helps someone. We love you.